going green and becoming environmentally friendly is a popular trend in today's society. Individuals and businesses like Starbucks using post-consumer recycled products is now commonplace. But the environmental issues we face may be more serious than some people think. Reducing our carbon footprint is something we should all take into consideration. A carbon footprint is how basically how much carbon, how much energy you use as a person. And it can be um, sometimes several acres of land that's required to support each person in the United States. Because we know that we're one of the biggest carbon dioxide emitters on the planet per capita here in the U.S. So there's a lot that we can do to reduce our carbon footprint individually. Recycling is one of the ways we can contribute, but here in Southern Nevada, it still seems to be a problem. The national recycling average, it's about 35%. Here in Southern Nevada, we're at 18%. We are unfortunately the lowest recycling rate nationwide. The solution is clear. Better education for the community, more awareness about the types of materials that can be recycled so people you know, realize the stuff that, that they're producing for waste, whether it's in their place of business or their household, they realize that about 75% of what they're throwing away should in fact be recycled. By recycling one aluminum can, you can conserve enough energy to power your TV for three hours. Aside from recycling, there are other environmental problems affecting us. Unfortunately, here in Southern Nevada, we're, we're dealing with um, fires that, that didn't used to occur out in the desert. Um, we also have uh, water issues um, as well. Um, so, you know, certainly advancing uh, water conservation um, is very important in our area. Since 2000, Lake Mead's water level has dropped approximately 110 feet, according to the Southern Nevada Water Authority. Their current estimate suggests that by 2014, the lake surface could fall below the pipeline that delivers 40 percent of Las Vegas's water. We're also very concerned about climate change and its impacts. We need to keep in mind that Las Vegas was built and the population grew during a time period that was unusually wet. And now we're actually going back more to normal, you know, dry conditions. The increase of greenhouse gases continues to heat our planet. Over time, global warming can also lead animals that live in icy conditions to become extinct. But there is still hope for the future. A lot of times we feel we don't have very much control over these really, really broad issues. But we can let our voices be heard, um, support these types of environmental efforts, and then on an individual basis, we can do things like recycle, um, conserve our water, and you know, be just very supportive of these types of efforts because it, it benefits us all. Literally, there will be no excuse not to recycle. For Studio G, I'm Britannia Giordano.